Governor John Bell Edwards says that he has a plan for the troubled Bridge City Center for Youth. This comes after multiple escapes from the Jefferson Parish facility, despite a recent increase in security. NBC Local 33's Anam Siddiqui joins us with more. Hey, Anam. Hey, Jacob. A half of most of the troubled youth at the Bird City Center are being relocated to Angola and then to a facility in Baker. Some city and state leaders say this is happening too soon and a lot needs to be done before relocation. Months of chaos, Governor John Bell Edwards says the Bird City Center for Youth is under investigation for security and leadership failures. Three employees with the OJJ are under investigation. On Saturday, six juveniles escaped. One allegedly stole two cars and shot a man. Officials say this was the second time this teenager was able to break out of the facility. There were numerous deficiencies and failures that contributed to those six juveniles being able to escape this weekend. And that includes um, a violation of the approved plan of action for the additional security that we had uh, made available. Next month, 25 of the most troubled youth will be temporarily relocated to Angola until renovations are finished at the Jetson Center for Youth in Baker, a facility that currently houses adult inmates. State Senator Regina Barrow is concerned about the move. In 2014, inmates were removed from the facility because it was deemed unsafe. But Edwards says there will be renovations, including a 12-foot wall. Can we really bring that building up to a standard, into a code, which is going Want to make it safer. I don't know that we can. Office of Juvenile Justice Deputy Secretary Bill Summers says juveniles will not come in contact with adult inmates. The majority of the juveniles in our secure care are not causing the problems. It is a small number, but they are causing tremendous chaos. Edwards says the relocation is a short-term solution until the state is able to open more facilities. The Office of Juvenile Justice plans to add more security at the Bridge City Center, including Louisiana State Troopers and an OJJ leader on site 24-7. Anam Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News. All right, thank you, Anam.